Hey everyone, it's Tracy here with another video tutorial for you. Today I am going to be making a Valentine's Day card using the Lawn Fawn stamp set um, Summertime Charm, um, some Hero Arts inks, and Mr. Huey's sprays. So I'm going to start by stamping the jar stamp on a piece of white cardstock. This is the Coordination's 110 pound white cardstock. It works awesome for Copic coloring because the colors don't bleed together and it's just a nice thick cardstock. And then I have the two hearts. There's the outline and then a solid heart image. And I'm going to use the different colored Hero Arts inks and just randomly stamp the hearts within the va or jar. And that one is the Bubblegum Midtone ink. And then the Soft Blossom. And then I have the um, red one, which is the Red Royal, or Royal Red, I believe. So I originally wasn't going to do very many hearts, but as I kept stamping, it was looking awkward because I had an even amount, so I decided to just fill the whole jar up with the hearts. And then I had to add a solid red heart so that it didn't look uneven. And that's the nice thing about the clear stamps is that you can see right where you're stamping to see if you have room for um, whatever you want to stamp. Alright, and then I have this silver Prisma colored pencil, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill in, or color in, the top part of the jar so that it looks like the metal on a real mason jar. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just fussy cut that out. Alright, so I got it cut out and I left a little white border around the edge. So now I'm going to use a Mr. Huey's mask. It's the chevron uh, mask. And I am I got my, this is the box that I use to spray all my mists and stuff in so I don't make a mess. So you can tell it's pretty used. And I have the pretty pink Mr. Huey's. So I simply just put my mask over my white cardstock. And this one wasn't quite coming out like I wanted it to. It was a lot more splotchy than most of the inks are. So then I just took some of the peppermint, which is a red, and I just um, splattered it so that there was some red splatters with the pink. Alright, so after that dried completely, I took some twine from the twinery. And I taped it to um, one of the ends to the back and then the other one to the back. Just around the middle of my cardstock. And my ink was a little bit wet so I just had to clean that up. And then I just took another piece and I'm going to tie a bow on the side. And then just trim the edges off. Okay, and then I have, that says Love You. It's from the Jessie's ABCs from Lawn Fawn. I already spelled it all out. And I'm just going to stamp that right in the middle of the mason jar with some tuxedo black ink. And the, I mean, I can see it, but the... The lines of the letters are pretty thin, so if you want to be able to have the sentiment stand out more, you'll want to use more of a thicker um, font. 
So I rounded each of the corners with the um, We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder. And then I have my white card base and I'm just going to attach the card front that I sprayed onto there. And then I have some 3D um, foam adhesive squares that I'm going to add to the back of the mason jar. And just attach that right to the middle of my card base. So thanks for watching. Bye.